Okay, we're back on our linker two again. So he took my junk carpet I gave him last couple nights ago and put on the bike. It runs fine. This is the one that doesn't run fine. And I noticed in the video when I watched it that there was no fuel coming up the spray nozzle on the inside of the carburetor in here, which is this piece right here. This sticks through the Venturi and it had absolutely no fuel coming out. That's why it was running so lean and wouldn't come up my age yet. There's no fuel coming out. I have no idea where there's no fuel coming out. But the only thing we didn't do with this carburetor is take the Venturi out and see if something's going on with that. So that controls your air bleeds. That's what this is, the emulsion tube. So the main jet comes into the bottom and sucks it, uh, mix it with the air and sprays into the center of the carburetor. So that's what's not working. <clears throat> You're fine. I think I need to pull the clutch and primary off because that sounds is, like a lot of work. It is broken. The breather's newt. We'll take the part off so it doesn't fall off in the bike. I can't take it off because it's... Will it fall out? I think it might. Yeah, we'll but it, do something about it. That was one ride on a brand new part. Yeah, but that was a Taiwan Teddy part. Yep. The little part where they like braze it into the snoot tube mm -hmm. is where it broke but it's like still slightly attached, so I can't just pull the rod out and then pull the tube out. Yeah, that'd be too easy. Yeah, so I think I have to take the inner primary off and Great. all that. Almost like no work at all. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like the bike knew we were here and it's just like, okay. So would you wind up putting the main jet on the other carburetor? Um, I turned it like two clicks back towards me, so I think that's in, right? I don't know what that means. To the right, to the left. If you poke your finger with a sharp point, do you bleed? Yes. Oh. It happened to me earlier. Not yet. It's trying to, though. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay, which way do you wear turning this? Turning it this way. I couldn't see I was on the phone. Which way? Still can't see on the phone. Which you turn it? Down? This way here? Yes, sir. Okay, when you turn it like that, that shuts it off, so you're leaning it out. Yeah. So I only gave you half a turn, it was too much. I did two clicks. Yes, what's up? That's right. That's all you get. Half a turn. <laughs> At least. Unless it's your bike and you double it. What do you need? You're bothering me. I'm making videos. Doing important work. Yakking on the phone with you ain't important. Uh, I don't know what kind of Honda you got. Oh, that sounded like one. 35 works good for me. It's already black. <coughs> oh, bitch. <coughs> A 2001 twin cam motor, it's a piece of crap, it's a twin cam. Other than that, it's got crappy chain shoes, crappy crank. Uh, let's see what else is wrong with that motor. Yeah, that's enough right there, isn't it? Uh, probably about two miles out, they just put a new motor in it. That would be the best one to buy. <clears throat> I don't know, whatever you want. If you want to buy a piece of crap, buy it. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter. I've seen them broken in five miles. I've seen them last 50,000 miles. I got, got one guy's got 80,000 on one, but that doesn't mean it's normal. Good for him. Did he get a medal? Good. That's all that matters. <clears throat> so they're all about saying they're all junk, so whatever one you wanna whatever one you wanna get, get. They all have issues, every one of them. Every year has different issues.
uh, 98 and earlier. That's with what? Well, they switched to 99. <clears throat> So I, get, so I get a 98 and earlier, that'll take care of the problem. Nope, 2000 last year of an Evo and an FXR. Yep, last production Evo, FXR4. 2000. Last one. Mm. Oh, that must be the one. <laughs> it's probably the aluminum Venturi, huh? Stay with what? <clears throat> yeah, I don't like any of them. Oof. But what do you want for a three thousand dollar bike? You get what you get, so. <clears throat> About all they're worth. Yeah, they work real good after you spend about six grand fixing the motor. It's tight. Here's your ball. Your ball's making a run for it. Uh -oh. Okay, what else you got? I got stuff I'm working on here. It's important. It's important stuff too. Two more questions. You already had five already. Do I charge extra for more questions on these phone calls? <clears throat> you didn't give me your credit card number though. <laughs> <laughs> I, bought, I don't use Bosch. No, I use NGK Iraniums. I'm not a dork. I'm an asshole. You know the difference? <laughs> crappy customers. <laughs> I don't use Bosch, I use NGK, I already told you that. <clears throat> there you go, now you know. The internet wasn't wrong, for once. To be what? That sounds like a stock heat range for a stock motor. Are you a stock motor? Six. You run the piss out of your bike. Six. That you put a six in the number. I don't know what an NGK stock number is. What do you think I am? I just sell plugs, I don't sell part numbers. So take the fart plugs back, tell me what the one has a six in there and just go that way. They'll fix it for you. <clears throat> Let them figure it out. They're the NGK guys selling them. That's why they're looking for a stock number. I don't go by stock number, I go by the number on the side of the plug, I know what it means. We just tell you we're on for an 89 Yamaguchi and they would have sold you one. No? That's all they go by is making model over there. <laughs> oh geez, why are you going there then? Four dollars cheaper plug. That's good. So now you get the wrong spark plug, what are you going to do now? So you're going to take it back and get your $4 back? <coughs> well, you have to give them $4 to take it back because you saved $4. That's how it worked. <laughs> oh, $16 you saved. Yeah, you got a good deal there. I'd go back and get two more. Okay, you done? I got work to do. Oh, uh, well, I wasn't listening. It was six, though. That sounds good. Dirty. I don't want to, I want to show you before I wash it. That's all right. 
What? Did you just pull that off? Yeah. Someone brought me some junk. I ordered this weekend, but... I got oil on my table. That's okay, what else? I gotta go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Number six. <clears throat> no. Were you here when I called? That's the, Me? the gap. Yeah. I called him until I was gonna come. Oh, I've yeah. been here for like an hour. Probably. That's the spark plug gap. It took me about an hour and a half to get it off. <laughs> yes. It's a wide gap. P is depth, B is the size, P is extended tip, B means it's 14 millimeter, E is the length, three quarter. What else do you want to know? Is this important? I don't think so. Oh, we're going to have a snap quiz on this? Alright, I like snap quizzes. Alright, bye. Where's your flashlight at, Ken? Oh, right here. <coughs> So you got a leaky head. Before I clean it, I don't know which one it is. Yeah, you can see the trail of oil coming out of it. Coming from the outside of the guy, not the OD, huh? Yeah, the valve is dry. The valve is, yeah, if I see it, it's from the outside, the guide. Yeah. yeah. Probably nice and burn oil, too, I'm sure. No, it's clean. It doesn't seem to be yeah, all it's that clean. wet. <clears throat> it's wet. See up there? Yeah, but it's not all burnt wet. It's, no, no, it's, just, it's fresh. It's fresh. It's just, yeah. It's, it's using so much oil, it's not even burning. It's just exactly. pouring out of there. So that means it's a big oil. Yeah, on the, on the guy, we're going to need to pop the valve out and see what's going on there. Yeah. All right, project number three. <laughs> all right, we'll get back to our carburetor in a minute.